The giant short-faced bear, also known as Arctotus simus, was a carnivorous heavyweight that few creatures dared challenge. Towering over today's largest land carnivores, Arctotus simus was like something out of a primeval nightmare, a beast rivaled in size only by its South American cousin Arctotherium. Roaming North America between 2.5 million and 12,000 years ago, this bear used its incredible size not only for hunting, but also for something akin to prehistoric intimidation tactics. Imagine a bear so massive and imposing that it could scare off saber-toothed cats or dire wolves from their hard-won kills. With bone-crushing jaws, Arctodus simus could shatter bones to get to the nutrient-rich marrow inside, while its sharp senses made it a formidable hunter and scavenger alike. In short, this was one bear you wouldn't want to meet, even in your wildest dreams. How strong was the giant short-faced bear? Compared to a polar bear, polar bears are the giants of the modern bear world and the heaviest land carnivores alive. Adult males generally weigh between 400 and 725 kilograms, 900 to 1,600 pounds, with the largest recorded individual reaching a jaw-dropping 1,000 kilograms, 2,210 pounds. Yet, even this mighty bear is dwarfed by the prehistoric short-faced bear. Standing over three meters, 9.8 feet, tall on its hind legs, Arctodus was a beast of unmatched proportions, weighing around 900 kilograms, 2,000 pounds on average, and tipping the scales at over 1.3 tons in some estimates. If these two bears were to clash, the winner would be determined by the location of the battle. On icy terrain or frigid waters, the polar bear is in its element. Every aspect of its body is built for Arctic survival. From its streamlined shape to its powerful limbs, it's designed to glide through the icy water and hunt seals with lethal precision. In this frozen battleground, the polar bear would hold a decisive edge, virtually unstoppable in the environment that it calls home. But on an open plain, far from icy shores, the tables would turn. Here, aquatic prowess would mean nothing and raw power would rule. With its immense size and brute strength, Arctodus would likely dominate on solid ground, using its massive bulk to overpower the polar bear. In this scenario, the short-faced bear would claim victory. Giant short-faced bear versus grizzly bear. Grizzly bears are among the deadliest of brown bears. They typically weigh between 200 and 300 kilograms, 400 to 600 pounds, in adulthood. Grizzlies can sprint at speeds of 35 to 40 miles per hour. 56 to 64 kilometers per hour in short bursts. This speed combined with their agility allows them to turn sharply, reposition quickly, and strike more effectively than the much larger Arctotus simus. According to a scientific paper published by the Yukon Paleontology Program, Arctotus simus may have reached a top speed of about 45 kilometers per hour, 28 miles per hour, despite its massive frame. It had proportionally longer, more slender limbs, which would have increased its stride length, potentially allowing Arctodus to move quickly in a straight line over open terrain. However, its stiff-legged gait and large body size suggest that Arctodus would have struggled with quick directional changes, unlike more agile modern bears that rely on their powerful, shorter limbs for balance and maneuverability. Additionally, the grizzly's lower center of gravity would allow it to maintain stability in a fight, giving the grizzly the ability to push back and hold a solid stance in close quarters combat. Nevertheless, Arctodus's overwhelming size and brute strength would make it nearly impossible for the grizzly to mount an effective defense, as the sheer force of the giant bear could easily overpower it. Giant short-faced bear versus Kodiak bear the Kodiak bear is the largest subspecies of brown bear in the world. In the wild, mature males typically weigh between 477 and 534 kilograms, 1,052 to 1,177 pounds. They can grow even heavier in captivity. The strength of Arctotus simus's forelimbs has long been a subject of debate. Some researchers suggest that its forelimbs were not as powerful as those of modern brown bears. This would have hindered its ability to grapple with large prey. 
Other studies argue that its forelimbs were better suited for scavenging rather than hunting, leaving the bear's ability to grasp and kill large animals in question. In contrast, the Kodiak bear is well known for its immensely strong forelimbs and sharp claws, capable of tearing through thick hides and delivering bone-crushing swipes. A Kodiak's ability to stand its ground and strike with devastating force would make it a dangerous adversary against Arctotus. Yet, size can often outweigh other factors in a battle. The massive, short-faced bear with its sheer body weight and towering stature could potentially overpower and subdue a Kodiak bear using its immense size and strength.